What's going on YouTube? Figured I'd give y'all a quick rundown of what I've been up to. You can see I got the motor out finally, motor and trans. And I tell you man, it was a bear. But uh got it out. <clears throat> see that's a vacuum line for the power brake booster. That's going to the fuel rail. That's the return for the fuel rail. That's a heater hose and then another heater hose. Um, I did end up taking the manifolds off for the most part. It's the only one left on there. But um, it was just too, um, you know, it was just too tight in there to try and get those out. So my suggestion is uh, if you guys are doing this, um, you know, definitely take the exhaust manifolds off. It's going to be a lot easier. Uh, it just makes makes for a lot more room um i think i will reuse some things like this is a heat shield obviously um you know the exhaust is going to be right next to the starter and right next to the uh you know just a number of things um you can see the exhaust coming out here it's the same on the ls um so i'm going to try and do as much like heat management as i can there's another heat shield try and take that but you can see the trans, 5 HP 30. If anyone's looking to buy this, just give me a, send me a message. Uh, I don't want much for it, I just want to get rid of it truthfully. But, wasn't too bad to get out. You can see I uh, cleaned up the engine bay a little bit. Just use some purple power. Scrub brush. Got a lot of stuff I gotta remove out of here. Oh yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna hit it with some, um, you know, rust of black paint just to clean it up and keep it from rusting. You know, if there's spots that are rusting already, you want to try and stop that if you can. But yeah, finally got it out. It's a bear of a job. Just uh, one thing to keep in mind when you guys are doing this. You know, I kept yanking on the uh, motor and trans when it was pretty loose. And it was the shift cable, which is right here. So you got to go inside the cab and, uh, you know, obviously this shifts your trans um, from park, neutral, whatever. But uh, I forgot about this and this is what was hanging me up. So don't forget about this. I had everything else loose and the motor was just hanging there. So. But yeah, just giving you all a quick rundown, man. Other than that, I think this is about all I'll probably do today. I might do some touch-up paint if I can. Uh, I got a bunch of other shit to do today. It's Sunday, June 20th, I believe, Father's Day. So, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, I did get some parts in the mail. Um, this is that throttle cable I was telling y'all about. You know, Chinese deal. I think it was 20 bucks on Amazon. Low car makes one, and I think it's like sixty or seventy dollars. I don't know. This one seems to be fine. I'll let y'all decide on what you need. Um, I did get the son of a bitch. I did get the right bolts. Um, these are LS, and they do fit. They thread in easy, so uh, these will work for me. So once I get that motor figured out, I'm gonna get going on the clutch and pressure plate. And then these are the bolts I had for my flywheel. Or the pressure plate to the flywheel. Um, so I got to figure out what to do with this guy. I might just put it in the bed of my pickup for now. And uh, if I can't find someone to take it, I'll just end up taking it to the wrecking yard. But yeah, that's it for now, YouTube. Um, you'll have a good Sunday, man. We'll keep y'all updated and just keep chugging along.